Turkey has developed several advanced unmanned aerial and ground vehicles for military use, including drones and robots. These systems feature both autonomous and manual modes, advanced weaponry, and real-time data transmission capabilities that are so advanced that they have shocked the rest of the world. Designed for missions such as reconnaissance, target destruction, and logistical support, these vehicles enhance Turkey's military readiness. The country maintains a state of constant preparedness for potential conflicts and eventual war. The Bayraktar Akinci, developed by Turkish aerospace company Baykar, is a cutting-edge unmanned combat aerial vehicle that represents a significant leap in drone technology. Designed to perform a wide array of tasks, the Akinci is known for its versatility, long endurance, and ability to carry a variety of advanced weaponry. This Yukavi is a crucial asset in modern warfare due to its capability to operate at high altitudes and its proficiency in both intelligence gathering and combat roles. One of the standout features of the Akinci is its ability to operate at altitudes of up to 40,000 feet, which significantly expands its operational scope. This high altitude capability, combined with its endurance of over 24 hours, allows the drone to undertake prolonged missions without the need for frequent refueling. This endurance is critical for persistent surveillance, intelligence collection, and executing strategic strikes deep into enemy territory. The Akinci is equipped with dual engines that enhance its performance, enabling it to carry larger payloads and operate more efficiently. Its avionics system is cutting edge, providing real-time intelligence and combat capabilities. This includes the ability to carry various payloads, such as precision-guided bombs, missiles, and electronic warfare equipment. The combination of its advanced radar systems and avionics allows the Akinci to detect, engage, and neutralize targets with high precision. Furthermore, the Akinci is designed to support a wide range of mission types. Whether conducting air-to-ground strikes, air-to-air -air combat, or electronic warfare operations, the Akinci can adapt to various combat scenarios. Beyond its military capabilities, the Akinci also plays a key role in Turkey's broader defense strategy. As Turkey aims to bolster its domestic defense industry and reduce reliance on foreign imports, the development of advanced systems like the Akinci represents a significant step towards self-sufficiency. Turkey's Anka-3, an advanced jet-powered drone developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, represents a significant step in Turkey's unmanned aerial vehicle UAV evolution. Anka-3 is a stealthy unmanned combat aerial vehicle designed for high-end reconnaissance, combat, and intelligence gathering missions. Its key features include a low observable design that enhances its stealth capabilities, making it ideal for operations in contested environments. Recent updates have focused on refining the drone's aerodynamic shape to minimize radar visibility, significantly improving its range, speed, and payload capabilities. The Anka-3 is expected to support a wide variety of missions, ranging from intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance to air-to-ground strikes and potentially electronic warfare operations. This advanced drone is also designed to carry a diverse range of munitions, giving it exceptional flexibility in different combat scenarios and making it a versatile asset on the battlefield. The Anka-3 builds on Turkey's growing expertise and experience in UAV development, following the notable success of drones like the Bayraktar TB2, which has seen widespread use in various conflict zones around the world. With its enhanced stealth features and jet propulsion system, the Anka-3 represents a more sophisticated and advanced class of UAVs, enabling Turkey to compete on a global scale with leading drone-producing nations. This progression marks a significant step forward in Turkey's defense capabilities and technological advancements in unmanned aerial systems. The Bayraktar TB2 is a tactical armed UAV system developed and manufactured by Baykar in Turkey. It features a sophisticated design that provides all necessary solutions in one integrated system. Thanks to Baykar's technological expertise, the entire system is produced indigenously. The TB2 is a long-endurance tactical unmanned aerial vehicle capable of conducting intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and armed attack missions. Its onboard avionics suite enables fully autonomous taxiing, takeoff, landing, and cruising. The TB2 has proven its efficacy with over 800,000 operational flight hours. 
Since 2014, it has successfully carried out missions for the Turkish Armed Forces, Gendarmerie, and Turkish National Police. Currently, 257 Bayraktar platforms serve Turkey, Qatar, Ukraine, and Azerbaijan. The TB2 holds Turkish aviation records for endurance and altitude. It is also the first aircraft in its category to be exported abroad. The Baykar Real-Time Imagery Transmission System provides real-time image transmission and processing solutions to the defense industry. BGAM allows high-resolution, delay-free live broadcasts to be monitored by multiple users simultaneously. BGAM is a web-based application that enables secure live broadcasts on the network or on tablets via the mobile app. The system automatically stores all transmitted imagery in 30-minute files. While monitoring live imagery, users can take multi-tag notes. Saved tags and labels facilitate searching through archived videos later. Based on these notes, a mission log can be created and exported. For security reasons, the system automatically regenerates temporary passwords to secure access to live and archived imagery. In August 2024, at the International Defense Industry Fair in Istanbul, Turkey unveiled an ambitious new air defense concept called the Steel Dome, Kalik Kuba. Aimed at competing with Israel's renowned Iron Dome, the Steel Dome represents Turkey's latest effort to strengthen its defense capabilities amidst growing regional security challenges. The system is being developed by leading Turkish defense companies, including Azelsan and Roketsan, both of which have extensive experience in cutting-edge military technology. Unlike conventional defense systems, the Steel Dome is designed to integrate a wide range of technologies to create a robust and adaptable defense network. Central to its effectiveness is its ability to utilize network-centric technologies and artificial intelligence. This allows the system to process vast amounts of data in real time, helping it accurately identify and neutralize various threats, including rockets, missiles, drones, and even artillery fire. The integration of AI enables rapid response times and smarter targeting, improving the system's overall efficiency in protecting key infrastructure and urban areas. Although still in the conceptual stage, the Steel Dome has already attracted international attention. Turkey's defense industry has been expanding its reach in recent years, with significant growth in exports to countries in Africa, the Middle East, and Central Asia. The Steel Dome is expected to follow this trend, with the potential for foreign sales and international collaboration once it becomes operational. This aligns with Turkey's broader goals of achieving self-sufficiency in defense production and reducing reliance on foreign imports. As Turkey continues to invest in its defense industry, the Steel Dome stands out as a symbol of the country's ambitions to become a major player in the global defense market. If successful, it could transform Turkey's ability to defend against modern threats, while also positioning Turkish defense firms as leaders in the development of advanced missile defense systems. Finally, let's explore Songar. Songar is a low-altitude, unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UAEV, developed by Asis Guard for the Turkish Armed Forces. It includes a Quadrator UAEV, a ground control station, and ground support equipment. It operates in both autonomous and manual flight modes, featuring route planning, autonomous flight, and autonomous return to base in critical battery charge level and data link disconnection situations. It can transmit telemetry data and images simultaneously. Songar has an operational range of approximately 10 kilometers and is equipped with both daylight and infrared cameras. It is fitted with several built-in weapons and can remotely destroy targets. The maximum takeoff weight when fully equipped and armed is 45 kilograms. It operates at a height of 400 meters above ground level and a maximum elevation of 2.8 kilometers above mean sea level. The drone is dust resistant complying with the IP67 standard and has GPS and global navigation satellite system compatible navigation capability. This system is advantageous because it is low cost, customizable, easy to use, lightweight, and portable by personnel across multiple units. The first Songar drone was delivered to the Turkish Armed Forces in 2020 and integrated into a tactical 4x4 wheeled armored fighting vehicle. In November 2021, it was announced that Songar was being exported to two countries. Songar includes an automatic gun stabilizer, recoil damping, 
and a tiltable barrel. It features a 10x magnification pilot camera, a gun camera, and a ground control station. The drone can continue its mission with a quickly changeable magazine, requiring no special intervention. Simultaneous missions can be performed with one or multiple drones. The drone conducts aerial reconnaissance, destroys targets, performs post-operative damage assessments, and transmits real-time images. In March 2022, a Songar drone with a laser-guided mini-missile system was tested. It can fire six mini-missiles developed by Troy Technology. Intended for use in cross-border and residential areas, the missiles are launched from 550 millimeters long, single-use tubes. Songar with mini-missiles is used to destroy fixed targets, such as unarmored and lightly armored vehicles, buildings, and small structures. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and put notifications on to stay updated on everything related to AI and robotics.